Hi, this is Kanu Babu. This is part 24 of Trial This Project. In the last class, we discussed about uh, uh, how to design the bus layout. So, in this session, we will discuss about how to implement the code. So, here, whenever customer will select the from place, that is from Hyderabad to Vijayawada, and here I will select the date of journey, and uh, when you click on the search bus, then it will navigate to select bus.astx now here we are selecting the bus details and here whenever we select the bus I want to display the details in the text boxes and what are the values that are available in the text boxes I want to display bookseats.astx within the label control so here if the customer is trying to select the bus from Hyderabad to Vijayawada and here uh, the date of journey And here I will try to uh, click on the search bus. Then uh, it will display the details in the grid view control. The bus details will be displayed within the grid view control. Now here, whenever user clicks on the select seat, the link button, then row command event will fire. And within the row command, we are catching the values that are available within the labels. And at the same time, we are storing the values in the session variables. Here you see service number, from place, uh, to place. Is it clear? Session of uh, SV number, session of from place, session of to place, session of uh, bus type, session of travel agency name, session of fare, session of departure time, session of arrival time. And these session values we will try to display in the book seat. So here whenever user clicks on this book seat button, then automatically button 1 underscore click will fire. And here I am navigating to bookseats.aspx. Then uh, the page load event will fire within the bookseats.aspx.cs. And here uh, already I stored the values in the session and I want to display the values in the label LBL SV number dot text, LBL from place, LBL to place, LBL travel agency name, LBL fare, LBL departure time, LBL arrival time. Here you see. I hope you understood. So these all are the booking details. So actually here I have given the IDs for each and every control like LBL SV number, LBL from place, LBL to place. LBL uh, T agency name, LBL fare, LBL departure time, LBL arrival time, DDL boarding point. So that is the reason here I have written the um, here LBL SV number and all these things. I hope you understood. So now my next is I want to display uh, the pickup point names in the drop down list. Which are, uh, nothing but the boarding points. Is it clear? So here the customer is trying to select the ticket from Hyderabad to Vijayawada. So I want to display all the pickup point names of Hyderabad with the drop down list control. So here actually if you observe clearly in our database I have done a small modification. Within the bus uh, pickup points table I added one more column that is DID. Try to check this one. Within the bus pickup point initially we have only two columns PID and SV number. Now I added one more column that is DID. So here actually three tables are there, one is destination table, other one is pickup point table, another one is bus pickup point table. Now if I ask you manually, I want to get the pickup points of Hyderabad, so how you can check? First you have to go to destination table, in destination table you can catch Hyderabad. So what is the DID of Hyderabad, DID underscore 12. Now here you can go to bus pickup points. Here you have to catch what PID of DID underscore 12. So what are the PIDs of DID underscore 12? PID underscore 1, PID underscore 2, PID underscore 3, PID underscore 5. Is it clear? And again PID underscore 1, PID underscore 3, PID underscore 7, PID underscore uh, uh, here you can see somewhere PID underscore 4, 7 as well as 6 and 2. Now this uh, now you go to pick a point table. So what is PID underscore one BHL? PID underscore two here you can see me up PID underscore three KBHB PID underscore seven LB Nagar. Is it clear? Similarly PID underscore four SR Nagar PID underscore six uh, Laddi Kapul. I hope you understood. So in manually before writing the join query because joins are used to retrieve the data from more than one table. Before writing the join query, manually we have to search the pickup point names of Hyderabad. So in what manner we have searched the record manually, in the same manner we will try to write the join query. So before working with joins, we need to follow uh, some rules. 
the rule number one is there must be a common column that exists between both the tables. Is it clear? So here you observe uh, what is the common column between destination bus pickup points DID. Is it clear? And what is the common column based on uh, bus pickup points and pickup point PID. So whatever the output you want. So here I want to display the PID and P name. So initially I will try to give the alias names for all the tables. For pickup point table I will give the alias name as P. For destination table I will give as D. For bus pickup point I will give as BP. Something like that. Is it clear? Now whatever the record you want. So how to write the query? Select P dot PID comma P dot P name from uh, destination D inner joint bus pickup point BP on D dot DID is equals to BP dot DID again inner joint pickup point P on BP dot PID is equals to P dot PID where D dot DID is equals to DID of Hyderabad. What is DID of Hyderabad? DID underscore 12 and BP dot SV number is equals to SV underscore 2. Is it clear? So I have created one stored procedure. If you observe clearly, create procedure procedure name. I have passed two parameters at the rate service number at the rate DID as begin end. Now here I will write the join query. Select P dot PID, comma P dot P name from pickup points P inner join bus pickup point BP on P dot PID is equals to BP dot PID. Again, in our join destination D on BP dot DID is equal to D dot DID, where BP dot SV number is equal to at the rate SV number and D dot DID is equal to at the rate DID. So here you see, I will try to uh, execute the procedure. So exec space procedure name space uh, values I will pass. I will pass two values SV underscore two that is service number and I want to pass the DID of Hyderabad DID underscore twelve. Now select the procedure, press up fire. So here you can see these all are the pickup points of what? Hyderabad. Similarly, if I write something like DID underscore 1, these all are the pickup points of Vijayawada. I hope you understood. So this is the stored procedure. Now here uh, I need to display that uh, pickup point details in the drop down list control. For that initial, I will go to the data access layer. And within the data access layer, here I declared one method, one region I declared hash region the name of the region is display p name and here i declared one method the name of the method is display p name for this method i am passing the parameter as business objects now here i am creating the connection then open the connection then pass the procedure my procedure name is proc underscore display p name and uh, here i am uh, mentioning that we are working with stored procedure and i need to set the values for the parameters cmd dot parameters dot add with value of at the rate SV number and at the rate DID. So already we have two properties are there within the business objects. One is service number, other one is DID. These values I will set within this uh, parameters. And create an object for data set and fill the data in data set. Is it clear? So this is my data access layer. I declared one uh, method. The name of the method is display P name. Right. Similarly, I will go to the business logic layer. Within the business logic layer also, I will declare one method. Here you see, I declared the method with name display p name. Display pickup point name. And the name of the method is display p name. And we already know that business logic layer will interact with what? That access layer. Is it clear? Now, I will try to go to my uh, bookseats.asph.cs and here also within the page load. Here you can see, I create an object for business logic layer. Now, uh, uh, I create an object for business objects and I set the values. Here you see, I set the values for DID, session of FDID dot two string and session of SV number dot two string. Actually, these two values I stored in the previous frame. So here you see, within the home dot ASPX, actually, the customer is selecting the from place. For example, he is selecting the from place as Hyderabad. Is it clear? And two places Vijayawada. Now here you go to the home.aspx.cs and within the button one underscore click and within this button click here you see within this design within of uh, home.aspx double click on search bus and within this I am storing the FDID 
drop down list one dot selected value dot to string if you observe clearly here we are written drop down list one dot data text field is d name drop down list one dot data value field is did here d name means hyderabad will be stored in data text field and uh, the id of hyderabad will be stored in data value field so that is the reason i am storing these two values in the session variables i hope you understood and the same values i am trying to use in book seats dot aspx and here presentation layer is interacting with business logic layer and the result of display pname method will be stored in data set in drop down list ddl boarding point dot data source is equal to ds and again here we are trying to uh, store the pname in data text field and pid in data value field once we'll try to execute so that we'll get some idea here you see when i select hyderabad to vijayawada and here i will select the uh, date of journey and whenever user clicks on what search bus then button one underscore click will fire and here you see uh, so i want to get the id of hyderabad so what is id of hyderabad did underscore 12 similarly id of vijayawada did underscore 1 these ids i am storing in the session variables all the values is it clear and then redirecting to the select seats dot aspx and here you can say i will select the seat and the details will be displayed within the text boxes now click on book seat now here you see uh, here page load now i am setting all the values within the label con so here i create an object for business logic layer and business objects and setting the values is it clear within the book seats and now presentation layer will interact with business logic layer now business logic layer will interact with data access layer and here we are creating the connection open the connection pass the procedure and mention that we are working with stored procedure and set the values for the parameters because already we set the values in the properties sv underscore 2 and did and uh, store the result of that query in the data set and now data access layer will interact with the database and the result will again send back to uh, data access layer now data access layer will again send the result back to what data set so here you keep the cursor and check that the values came or not here you can see the pids of hyderabad came the pickup points of hyderabad came and again it will send back to presentation layer and we are uh, assigning the values within the drop down list control and uh, all the pickup point names are displayed within the drop down list so now whenever user clicks on seat number i want to display the seat number within the uh, label control here you see the seat number is 1 and here if you select the seat number it is displaying the seat number as 1 comma 2 for that i have done some code let us see as we already know that these all are image buttons so here so here go to book seats dot aspx design double click on image button and within that image button underscore click so here i have given ids for the image button as i underscore one initially i want to make this is the id of the image button i underscore one dot enabled is equals to false i want to uh, disable that particular image button and i want to store the id of the image button in a string variable and by using split method i want to split the value is it clear and uh, i want to store that uh, value i underscore one if i want to split i want to store that number one in one integer variable and um, I want to change the image, so I use the property I underscore one dot image URL is equal to uh, as we already have that images folder on, in our solution explorer. I want to change that image. Is it clear? So here I have one image called bi dot png, and then I want to display the seat number in the label one dot text. I'll keep the breakpoint so that you can understand. See, whenever user clicks on the select the seat, then uh, here i1 underscore click will fire and within that uh, initial I, I make enabled is equals to false and set the values here you see the i is 1 and i want to display that uh, seat number within the uh, label 1 and when you and the image is also changing when you select one more uh, seat number then uh, I, I underscore 3 underscore click will fire here also i will get the seat number and I am concatenating that previous seat number value to the label control. So here you see. That is the code. Right. I hope you understood. So in the next video we will discuss about how to insert the booking details in the table. For more videos you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.